Okay. Okay, so first of all, we're in the city of Rotterdam, um, and we are the Rotterdam University of Applied Sciences as an institution overall. Uh, with some sub-institutions, we have locations across the city um, and different schools and different subjects. We have over 37,000 students. Um, we have the biggest port in Europe, as you may or may not know, um, with over 3,500 approximately students in international programs with over 60 plus nationalities and many English and native um, speaking lecturers and stuff. So quite an international institution in some aspects. What about the Dutch education system itself? Well, there's two types of universities. We have a uh, university of applied sciences like us, and we have research universities and there's fundamental differences. Um, and you can find out more yourself online, but just to go through things very quickly and to summarize, uh, basically University of Applied Sciences is focused on the industry that, that a program is based on and takes its education from that industry and, and what the industry will be like. Therefore, it's more practical, uh, practically orientated. There is research involved, but not as much research as um, what there would be at a research university. Um, and therefore, our programs are much more um, job-based and industry-based um, than uh, research university programs, all right? And there are some, some fundamental differences as well in bachelors uh, as well as masters, but those are the main differences. And you can find information online about that. So why study in the Netherlands? Well, it's um, a country that's very open to um, different cultures, first of all. Um, it has many, many institutions with top quality English taught education in many, many subjects. Um, and a lot of the institutions here are also internationally orientated. Okay, so they do their best to help international students come here and to, um, to adapt to the, to the local surroundings. Um, Dutch students also like it as well because it gives them access to the outside world in terms of education um, if they do their, their, their um, programs in English as well. Uh, the Dutch have a very high level of English. Um, I think they're ranked as uh, number one or number two. It's always one of those two currently um, as a country for the uh, native level of, uh, sorry, the secondary language um, and level of English spoken as a secondary language in the country. Um, the education is very interactive, very innovative. There's always improvements and things going on. And in terms of financial benefits, it also makes sense because if you compare to some of the other countries, institutions also teaching in English financially, it makes um, sense and it's a good value for money. So what about the city of Rotterdam itself? Well, it's, it's a fantastic thriving city. It's innovative. Um, it's got a combination of old and new together. And it is, this was or is, I'm not sure exactly, um, the city of architecture and people come from all over the world to, to view it um, in terms of its buildings um, and its various different locations and for, in terms of art and uh, infrastructure. Um, there's pretty much everything that you need here. Um, it's a student city, it's also very modern, it's also a very a good place to live. Um, everything, you name it, happens. Um, has a good nightlife, but it also has areas which are quiet. Um, so depending on your personality, it, you, you will be okay when you, when you arrive. Okay, so what master programs do, does the Rotterdam University of Applied Sciences offer in English currently? Uh, well, here you can see a list of all the uh, programs that we offer um, in English uh, at a master level. So the international supply chain management, uh, full-time and part-time. We offer consulting and entrepreneurship as well, um, shipping and transport full-time and part-time and uh, river delta development. And we also offer a pre-master a foundation program for the masters at the Rotterdam Business School. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, we have uh, programs at different locations. So these are not all part of the same school, let's say there are different locations. Um, and there are individual webinars this week, um, which you will be able to find uh, on our websites for uh, most of these programs. So what about the master entry requirements? Well, for the programs, you will pretty much this, this is summarized and in general, if you really want to find the deeper um, and exact uh, requirements, you need to look on the website because 
each program has slight differences. Um, but in general, you need a related bachelor degree. Um, there are some other ways you can get in as well. If you have um, uh, don't have a, a specific related degree, you need to do some extra things, but it is possible to get in. You just have to look on the website and it will tell you. Um, for certain nationalities, you will need to do an English language test, either at IELTS or TOEFL uh, or the Cambridge English language test. Um, please check the websites. For example, River Delta Development has alternative requirements in terms of the level you need, so please check that. Um, in terms of tuition fees, there is a difference between the programs as well. Um, you can see there ISCM, which is International Supply Chain Management and Shipping and Transport, they offer the same um, fees currently, um, and this is subject to change as well. Um, these fees are discounted because of Corona, and that will change as well at some point. So please keep monitoring the websites as well. For C&E, which is Consultancy and Entrepreneurship, um, they have similar fees for both, or the same fee for EU and non-EU uh, together. So there's no difference for whether you're an EU student or a non-EU student. For River Delta Development, you can also see under RDD um, those fees there for you. Okay, so please check the website. These do change every year um, and every block due to certain circumstances, especially under Corona. Um, and the part-time programs also have altered fees and admission requirements. You can see the application deadlines there. These are important. Please stick to them. If you miss those deadlines, you will be um, your application will not be accepted. Um, so September intake for um, money we have the first of May. Uh, for EU, the deadline is 31st of July. For February intake, we have none of you, uh, 1st of November and 31st of December. For EU students or applicants, sorry, um, these are, not all programs have September intake or February intake. Uh, please check online which ones do and which ones don't. So please check that. So what about finance and costs? Well, um, here's an overview of the finances and the costs for, um, let's say, an average, um, and you can see here, this fluctuates basically on what you do per year. You can see the fees for, the costs for books, and the visa fee if you're from an EU country, um, housing costs which fluctuates, obviously depending on how much you're willing to spend and what's accessible to you, insurance also if you need that, um, and your daily costs which also uh, fluctuate depending on whether you go out or whether you um, eat in a certain way, um, you name it. But this is just a general um, overview of what we expect. So what is the real reason, what is the real benefit of coming to study at our institution? Well, for pretty much all our master programs, um, there are lots of links to companies and the actual industry. Even the lecturers are currently based in the industry mostly, um, and therefore um, there are links um, via the schools, institutions um, under the RUAS or Rotterdam University of Applied Sciences banner. Um, these companies, uh, we, the links are there. Um, with industry, which which is really good. Uh, a lot of students have access to these companies via theses, or uh, via the thesis, sorry, um, or um, via international projects that are done during the program. So this is something um, to keep in mind when you're considering coming. It's definitely an advantage. This is also kind of the fundamental idea of applied education, um, having that link and having the skills and learning the skills um, necessary in the industry. So here you can see two examples of um, students, um, which also highlighted the fact that they that um, you know there were links to industry and that there were first-hand opportunities and contact with um, uh, with companies and and professions um, and dealing with uh, professionals throughout the program. Um, so that's really something to consider if that's interesting um, to you. Are there any questions so far from anybody? If there are questions, please put them in the chat and I'll do my best to answer. Okay. Okay. Um, so here is an example of a few Dutch organizations and brands where our graduates have gone on to work for or have internships with or um, have ended up, um, uh, or our schools have ended up um, having contact with for different projects. Uh, as you can see, they're very international um, and the schools and the university do very, very much their best to 
try and stay in contact and to um, help students and, and find their way um, before they graduate in terms of what will be necessary in terms of skills um, that, when going to work in the markets, okay? Um, as you can see, a load of companies here from pretty much these companies. Some are national companies, some are international, um, but you can see pretty much everything here and in different uh, industries as well. So what about life on campus? Well, we do share a campus with Erasmus University Rotterdam um, in certain ways for the business school in that aspect. Um, other locations have uh, their own uh, buildings um, uh, around the city, uh, fabulous buildings with a lot of uh, good facilities as well. So uh, you name it, it's there. Um, sports can be done um, via Erasmus Sport as well. Um, the students from our institution are allowed to go there and to use those facilities as well. There are international associations there available for international students. Um, so if you're a student coming uh, from outside of the Netherlands um, or within the Netherlands, you will be able to join specific clubs. This is just one example, but there are also clubs around the university and associations with other um, schools and minds um, within Rotterdam University Applied Sciences that you will be able to join. And the idea behind that is that you have a support network and a friends network at the same time while studying uh, to help you throughout your program. And it really does work. It's, um, it's very helpful. And especially, for example, in Corona, we, we saw that they, this very much helped students with their um, experience um, with us. OK, uh, please do stay in touch. Um, before I uh, finish up, are there any questions as if we, if does anybody have any questions before I finish up? These are the contact details. If, if um, anybody needs to get in touch uh, via social media, or via the website, or just by email or by telephone, these are the um, contact details to get in contact with the uh, people that can help you about and find out information about your program. Are there any questions before we close up? No, nobody has any questions. Okay, thank you very much for your time. And um, I hope you'll uh, make a wise decision and we'll see you in Rotterdam at some point soon. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.